Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So in the last video, we have understood about the diode conduction loss estimation. So in this video, we are going to understand about the diode switching loss estimation. So if you talk about the total power loss, which is given by P total, and if you say P total or PT, you can call it PT equals to P conduction plus P switching okay so if you haven't watched the last video please go and watch the last video so that you are able to calculate the total power loss which is P conduction plus P switching loss so in this video we are going to understand about how you're gonna calculate the diode switching loss so let me draw one circuit here so this is simple let me draw plus minus here and here let's say you have diode right and here you have the load this is very simple circuit i have drawn here and let's say let's say what what you can see here let's say the the voltage across this diode you can call this plus and minus is given by vf and the current flowing through diode is if and let us understand let us say your input is how how your input looks like for this diode and so let me say this is looks like that high side and this is low side and this is your let's say zero volt okay so let's Let's I call this as a VH high voltage and I call this as a VL that means low voltage you are applying high voltage and low voltage in order to turn on and the turn off your diode so let us understand how you're gonna draw the switching are dynamic characteristic for the diode this is very important to understand how you're going to draw the switching are the dynamic characteristic so let me do here is let's say here you have let me draw two line and this is for current and this is for voltage okay and uh, you can call this now this is your if here let's say this is your if and forward current and this is your vf okay forward voltage in this axis and this is with respect to time okay now let us draw the characteristic and before i draw the characteristic let me let me divide into some the lines here so basically this is your on period so i name is on and this is your on to off on to off and let me draw again one more period here you can call this period as a off period okay so basically we are more interested in order to calculate the diode switching loss we are more interested on this reason that is on to off reason but let me draw the first the curve here this characteristic here okay so let's say this is your current if current and what is your if current if you look at this circuit your if current is gonna be uh, if your load resistance is r it's gonna be bh divided by r this is your r if if current okay and now uh, let's say here you have some points this is your point okay this is the, your middle point i'm drawing from here to here and again i am drawing from here to here okay so this this reason this reason from this point let me use some other color probably uh, this color so from this point to this point this is called in case of diode this is called trr that means reverse recovery time and uh, this is called in the reverse recovery time you have some stored charge here so i highlight this stored charge this is stored charge you have in the diode 
and this store charge is called what it is called this is called qrr this charge is called qrr okay so now you have during on to off you have that reverse recovery time in diode and you have the store charge and again this is again this is the off period okay so the current flowing through v0 in off period so it looks like this this goes here and this goes here sorry this is okay probably i am unable to draw the straight line but you can understand okay so now you have your if current which is at on time it is vh divided by r and uh, this is your on to off transition where you see reverse recovery time and where you see the, your store charge that is re reverse recovery charge you can call this as a reverse recovery charge and this is again again your off time now if you want to draw the what if you want to draw the IR vf voltage so this is basically nothing if your current is flowing your vf would be very less so this is your vf okay this i call this as a vf and then at this point to this point like this point you have a very small value yeah like this it looks like this and then from this point to you have the negative voltage okay so this voltage is called in your case it is called vl okay so you you know your high voltage is vh and your low voltage is vl so in this case you have the negative voltage that you can call this as a vl and if you are worried about what is the voltage at this point okay so the voltage at this point is vf minus irr reverse recovery reverse recovery current this current is called irr into rd dynamic resistance okay so this current is called irr okay okay this current is called irr the store charge is qrr and the, the time is called reverse recovery time and let's do now some math in order to find the switching losses okay so let me write some equation here so that you can understand better okay how i'm gonna write some equation is uh, qrr let's say q r r equals to it's a simple one by two into what trr into irr irr if you look at this this is simple but the base uh, this is triangle equation 1 by 2 into base into height base is trr and height is irr so that's what i am writing here your base is trr but your height is irr this is your irr this reason is you having irr okay so base into height and uh, since we are calculating energy on to off so let's write energy on to off what is going to be energy on to off is equals to 1 by 2 into qrr qrr into the reverse voltage in your case reverse voltage is vl okay now now you are calculating power on to off power p on to p off on to off power is energy energy on to off what is your energy on to off divided by the ts total switching period and uh, you can write this energy on to off into fs fs is your switching frequency if you further simplify this p on to off equals to energy on to off and if you look at here energy on to off is 1 by 2 into qrr into vl vl stand for low voltage r reverse voltage into fs is switching frequency now you can also replace qrr so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and qrr is 1 by 2 into trr 
into IRR then you can write this terminology VL reverse voltage are low voltage and the switching frequency and if you further simplify this I call now this is PSW diode switching loss that will become 1 by 4 into VL is the reverse voltage into TRR into IRR into FS so into FS let me write it properly into FS so this is guys this is going to be your final equation of diode switching loss you can underline this okay so this is gonna be your diode switching loss what is your diode switching loss you can write PSW that is diode switching loss or power dissipation switching power is 1 by 4 into VL if you look at here this VL is nothing but it is reverse voltage you can also call this as a VR okay and it is negative since it is negative you can call this as a negative VR or VR okay and uh, and so I am assuming my negative voltage or reverse voltage is VL. I call this as a VL. So here if you see PSW equals to 1 by 4 into VL into IR, TRR into IRR into FS. Okay. So this is the diode switching loss. So hope guys you have understood about the diode switching loss. If you have any further question, feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.